My name is Dorota Paliska and I will show you how to do the ombre nails. So the clients come back to me after a few weeks. We have done a clear gel infill and now I'm going to apply the soak of gel polish from the Neil Perfect. So all what I have to do is put a small amount of the base gel. And then using a sponge I massage the product in and then cure it in an LED light for 10 seconds. After the gel is cure, I can apply the sock of gel polish made in a snow number no. three. It's a white color because we want to get a mermaid effect. So I'm applying a very thin coat, very nice and close to cuticle, but without of touching it. And then I will cure it in an LED light for the 30 seconds. Now I'm going to apply a second coat of the white gel. It's better to apply two, three thin layers than one too thick because that's my cause the trouble with the gel. And I'm doing the same on the other nail. and then cure it for 30 seconds. White gel is cured. I don't remove any sticky layer. I don't apply the top coat. I'm going to put uh, some pigments on the top of it. And you can see what a beautiful shimmer effect we receive. And on the other side, I'm going to put more pink pigment. I have used like an old brush for it because it's best. And then apply the top coat uh, on the top of it. Uh, then we can cure it and that's the nail finished. So make sure if you're working with the glitters or the pigments, you've got like an old nail uh, gel polish top coat because you don't want to make a mess with your new product. I totally love this effect, especially on the white nails, but we can apply it also on the pink or purple gel and that's give a totally different effect. So now I'm going to cure my top gel for 30 seconds. The gel is cure, I can remove the sticky layer with the UV cleanser. You can see how nice effect it is. On this nail I'm going to do an ombre effect, so those on the thumb, and then on this nail we will do some design. So I will do the ombre nail here, apply my base gel, again just a tiny bit and a tiny bit on the thumb. Then using the sponge, get it nicely all over the nail without of touching the cuticles, then cure it for a 10 seconds. Once the nail is cured, I can start doing the ombre. So I'm using a light neon pink on the one side of the nail. Make sure you work nice and close to the cuticle but you don't touch it. And then on the other side I'm going to use the 75 play the vinyl gel polish. I love the new perfect range because they've got amazing colors to choose from and the coverage is really nice and great. So I'm using the brush to blend the colors together and do the same on the other finger. Once you're happy with it you can cure an LED light for 30 seconds or a UV light for 2 minutes. The nails are cured, I'm going to apply the second coat. And on the thumb as well. And then using the purple gel polish I'm going to nicely blend the colors in. Once you're happy with the effect you can cure it for the uh, UV lamp like 2 minutes and LED like 30 seconds. 
Then once the gel is cured, you can apply the top coat. I've got a tiny bit shimmer on the top of it because I want the nail to be nice and glittery. And I do the same on the thumb. Make sure again you don't touch the cuticles. And then we can cure it. I choose the LED light for 30 seconds. On the ring finger I'm going to do some design, so I'm applying the 33 soak of gel polish in a French. And then using a foil and a one stroke technique I'm going to finish it off with the design. I'm going to cure it now for, for 30 seconds. Once the first layer is cured we can apply the second layer. and then cure it for 30 seconds. The next step is to apply the Heavenly, which is almost a clear with a tiny bit of the pink hint gel polish to protect the French design, and then cure it again for 30 seconds. Soak of gel polish top coat, and then cure it for 30 seconds. So that's all five nails finished with the gel polish. I can remove the sticky layer with the UV cleanser and then start doing the design which is going to take just on the ring finger I have to buff my nail and then using the acrylic paints I'm going to paint the design using white and purple acrylic paint I'm going to paint some one stroke flower this is just a basic five petal flower And a small bats on the top. And once the first layer is dry, I can go over it with the second one. On the middle I'm going to draw a few dots. On the top is going to be white, in the middle yellow and then on the bottom brown. And then using very watery acrylic paint, I'm going to add more detail. Once you're happy with it, apply the top coat, but remember the paint needs to be completely dry. Once the paint is dry, I'm just applying a top coat and then cure it for a 30 seconds.